All right, what's going on, guys? So Vanguard has been out for over a week now. The honeymoon phase is starting to wear out. People are starting to notice all the problems with the game. The typical COD cycle, which is fine, honestly. Like, it's good to figure out the issues with the game early. Therefore, hopefully, they can get fixed and, you know, we can have a good year. However, it seems like we might not have the best luck with that this year. Just based off some of the stuff that I'm seeing already. So, for example, right now, one of the biggest problems in the competitive scene for Call of Duty is that this game does not have trophy systems. And as we all know, this game has a lot of nade spam and stun spam as well. For whatever reason, if you didn't know, stuns actually do 20 damage in this game. And I'm not talking like direct impact. I'm talking if you just get hit by a stun. That's why you've probably noticed that you've gotten kills and gotten killed by more stuns than usual in Call of Duty this year. So the pros have been requesting that they add a trophy system to the game. It's kind of almost necessary at this point because number one, the perks are not balanced correctly. We have Flak Jacket, Tack Mask, and Ninja all in perk one, and you can only pick one. One of those definitely needs to be moved to perk two so that it can compete with Radar. But regardless, even if you do have flak jacket on it's very weak in this game it barely even protects you and for whatever reason the, the way they made it is it protects you more if you crouch or prone instead of standing straight up which doesn't even make sense like why the fuck would i crouch on top of the nade instead of trying to move away from the nade like that's just backwards logic to me so the whole flak situation is completely messed up the point is this game really needs a trophy system or something like that to kind of counter all of this so in a recent interview one of the developers was actually asked this very specific question and this was his response Here's, here's an interesting question uh, from chat. Uh, have you ever considered adding the trophy system? Because I noticed that was, uh, that was, has been probably pretty divisive. I, I know it, that I noticed it was missing, um, you know, and I've been adapting. It is a World War II game. Sure. And that, it is a World War II game. This is, this is a good answer. <laughs> we also have, uh, you know, various optics and everything. And we, we've taken some liberties with World War II. That is, they're, uh, bit of a line there. We'll see. There's there's a lot of opportunity for it if you have live seasons and that stuff coming up. So. First of all, amazing gameplay, by the way. Like, does this guy even know that you can fucking slide, man? Like, come on, dude. Regardless, basically, his answer to the question was, uh, oh, well, this is a World War II game, so... They didn't have trophy systems back then, so we won't be including it in our game. Like, okay, uh, that makes sense because we all remember all the soldiers running around with fire shotguns slide canceling people, right? That's what they were doing, right? Oh, and then after they killed nine other soldiers in a row, then they pull out their fucking flame knot suit and just burn everyone, right? Oh, wait, and then I forgot the best part of it all. After they die, they just respawn on their tack insertion. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's all very realistic, right? You know, you wouldn't want to affect the game. As we all know, Call of Duty is known as being a very realistic game, right? Like, come on, man. Do you think we're all stupid? Are we all just idiots or something? Like, I don't understand. Enough with the excuses. Just admit, hey, I made a mistake. We shouldn't have had it like this. And fix the mistake. That's it. Simple as that. I, nobody would even be mad. That's cool. Hey, just get it done. That's cool. But don't come on here and then, like, give us all this nonsense and treat us like we're all stupid or something like it just doesn't make sense that's what makes people mad it's the same shit every year man like i'm not here to make a huge rant video i just wanted to let everyone know the current situation in case any of you were hoping for any changes within the game you might not be getting them because this is their attitude towards the game this year so don't get your hopes up with that being said i think we can wrap it up here right listen battlefield just dropped halo's about to drop the new warzone map's about to drop like if they don't get their shit together, people are going to go play something else. Like, you don't have a monopoly anymore. This isn't 2008, you know what I mean? People will find something else to play if you don't get it done. 
So anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. We had to talk about the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio cucking Jeff Bezos situation. That, that was actually pretty funny. But yeah, check that video out if you missed it. Other than that, thank you again for watching. Have a good day and peace out.